The next financial performance measurement tool we are going to look at is something called residual income. Now this is an alternative method of assessing the performance of an investment center or a particular division within the organization. Residual income is calculated as our profit minus something called imputed interest. Don't panic, this sounds like something complicated. It's very easy to calculate. Our imputed interest is our investment multiplied by the required return. So, our imputed interest is just the amount we expect to earn back from a particular investment. So, profit minus our imputed interest then gives us our residual income. So, let's have a look at an exercise then. We're told there are two divisions with the following performance for the current year. We have division X and Y, we're given their investment and their controllable profit figure. The required rate of return on our investments is 15%. Now we want to calculate two things, the return on investment and the residual income. Remember return on investment? We saw this in a previous session. So let's have a look then. We'll set up a nice table for ourselves, keep things neat, return on investment and residual income. And we've got our first division, division X. So remember, return on investment is just going to be our profit before interest and tax divided by our investment or our capital employed. Doing a quick calculation then, we've got 2 divided by 10 multiplied by 100% is equal to 20%. Easy. The residual income then for Department X is going to be profit which is 2 minus our investment multiplied by the required rate of return, 15%. If you work that through, you should get 0 0.5. Looking at Department Y then, return on investment, so the profit divided by their investment, 3 divided by 30 multiplied by 100% gives us 10%. Residual income, profit minus the investment multiplied by the required return. If you work this through, I think it's going to be bad news for department Y. Do we get a negative figure of 1.5? So clearly, the manager of Department Y appears to have been underperforming. He, they have not even achieved our required return on investment, which means there is no residual income.